It's ironic that the movie's called Inferno because it felt like I was in hell while watching it. Inferno is directed by Ron Howard and stars Tom Hanks, Felicity Jones, Ben Foster, Omar Sy, Irfan Khan, and Sensei Barbara Kunsen, and is the third film to be adapted from a Dan Brown novel. The first two were The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons, and in Inferno, Langdon, played by Tom Hanks, he has to go to Italy because there's this virus out there and he has to try to find it first before it gets spreads throughout the whole world and kills off half the population. Now I wasn't the biggest fan of The Da Vinci Code or Angels and Demons and I found myself feeling pretty much the same exact way I felt towards those movies when I walked out of the theater scene Inferno. What I liked about those films, I liked about Inferno, but the things I didn't like, they were kind of amplified in Inferno. What I do like is one, Ron Howard's direction. Even in his not so great movies like last year's In the Heart of the Sea, he still gives like a good visual film to watch and you get this in this, you see cool shots of Venice and Florence and all these European cities and he just knows how to direct a film. And I also enjoy the acting. There's some great actors in here. Tom Hanks, Powerhouse of course. Felicity Jones gives a good job. Everyone does a good job throughout. The performances are good, but they just get nothing to work with because the biggest problem in all three of these films, especially in Inferno, is the screenplay. The dialogue throughout the film is just clunky and it's like, no one says this stuff and you just feel that way throughout the whole film and every scene has some exposition in it. Oh my god, it's, they just have to explain themselves in every single scene and it just gets annoying by the end. But by far the biggest crime is that the movie just feels like it runs on forever. The runtime was like two hours, but I swear I was sitting in that theater for at least three. It just never seemed to end. Right when I think it was getting there, 20 more minutes. And it just, ugh, I just wanted to leave. It was just, it was getting boring towards the end. And this is a shame because the story, it could have been pretty cool. I really enjoy these kinds of stories where people, they forget something so they have to retrace their steps kind of and remember. Big example of this is the pineapple episode in How I Met Your Mother. It's just, I love these types of stories where you have to figure things out as you go along. And I was kind of getting into it but then just some of the twists just weren't that great and it just took me right back out and by the end I was just done with the film. For my final verdict for Inferno, I'm going to give it, it was bad. The good directed by Ron Howard and the good performances just couldn't save the terrible script they were given. And it just ends up being another one in this Dan Brown franchise that maybe if the people who really like those books, they'll enjoy this movie. But other than that, you just don't need to run out and see this one. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Drew from How Was It Movies. Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see some more videos from me. Comment down below, what is your favorite Ron Howard movie? Mine is probably Rush. I really enjoyed that one from, what, was that three years ago now? But make sure to comment down below, and thanks for watching.